Good morning, class 4-3. Mr. Waterman here with today's language arts lesson. In period one, on Thursday, January 28th, 2021. I hope everyone is doing safe and well. For today's lesson, you're going to have a test over adjectives that compare on pages 145 and 146. Before we start the test, let's go over the answers for the activities on pages 143 and 144. We learned that a proper noun or adjective begins with a capital letter. We also learned the name of a day, month, or holiday begins with a capital letter. We learned to capitalize family names if they refer to specific people. And finally, we learned to capitalize titles of people before names. The directions for the activity said to read the sentences below, then correct the capitalization mistakes. We had to rewrite the sentences on the lines provided. We did numbers one and two together. Let's continue with numbers three through eight. Number three, the North Pacific octopus can grow to over 100 pounds. We need to capitalize the N in North, the P in Pacific, and the O in octopus, because this is a type of octopus. Let's rewrite. The North Pacific octopus can grow to over 100 pounds. Number four, I learned this from Dr. capital D for Dr. Stevenson, capital S, an expert on ocean life. Let's rewrite. I learned this from Dr. Stevenson, an expert on ocean life. For number five, we are going scuba diving on Sunday, capital S for Sunday, because it's the day of a week. We are going scuba diving on Sunday. Number six. We are bringing Grandpa along. Let's capitalize the G and Grandpa. We are bringing Grandpa along. For number seven, Jacques Cousteau capital C for Cousteau, because this is his last name, was a famous French, capital F for French, because it's a proper adjective, undersea explorer. Let's rewrite. Jacques Cousteau was a famous French Undersea Explorer. Finally, for number eight, Cousteau was born in June, capital J for June, because it's a month, 1910 in France. France is a proper noun, the name of a country. Let's write. 
Cousteau was born in June 1910 in France. And here are your answers for page 143. Once we have checked everything, please turn to page 144. We had to proofread the activity. We had to rewrite the title and each sentence in the response to literature below. Remember to use ER and EST endings correctly with adjectives. We had to be sure to capitalize proper nouns, names, and titles. We corrected the first paragraph together. Let's move on to correct paragraph number two. One of the bravest, we need to take out one of the E's, bravest explorers of all is Sylvia, capital S, because it's her name, Sylvia Earle. She was nicknamed her deepness because in 1979, she made the deeper, this should be deepest, ocean dive any human being had ever made alone. So let's start to rewrite if you haven't corrected. I indent because this is a paragraph. One of the bravest, B-R-A-V-E-S-T, explorers of all is Sylvia Earl. She was nicknamed her Deepness, capital D for Deepness, that's her name. Her Deepness. Because in 1979, she made the deepest ocean dive any human being had ever made alone. Finally, she went on to work as a businesswoman and as a scientist at the National Oceanic, capital O, and Atmospheric Administration. She's a very famous woman. She went on to work as a business woman and as a scientist at the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. And there you have it. Once the paragraphs are all checked, please move on to page 145 and get ready for today's test. I'll just sharpen my pencil here. Test, adjectives that compare. 
Please listen very carefully as I read the directions and each of the sentences for Part A. Part A. Read each sentence. Write yes if the underlying adjective is the correct form or the correct spelling. Write no if it is not the correct form or the correct spelling. One, since the bottom of the ocean is the murkiest part, some deep sea fish have feelers as well as eyes. Two, the small cookie cutter shark can catch and eat much larger fish. Three, to me, jellyfish are the scariest fish. Four, this clown fish has the brightest colors of all. Five, it's chillier in this water than over there. Six, that is the strangest looking shell of all. Part B, read each sentence. Use the correct form of the adjective in parentheses. Write it on the line. For number seven, the adjective is long. This lionfish has the blank spines I have ever seen. Eight. Next to the green algae, the color looked even blank than before. The adjective is red. Number nine, the adjective is safe. You will be blank if you wear a life preserver. 10, September is one of the blank months. The adjective is stormy. 11. The adjective is salty. This fish tastes blank than the other one. And number 12. The adjective is pale. You look blank than I do. Check your answers very carefully. When you are finished, please turn to page 146. This is the last part of the test. Please listen as I review each of the points. Point one, add ER to most adjectives to compare two people, places, or things. Point two, Add EST to most adjectives to compare more than two. Point number three. For adjectives ending in E, drop the E before adding ER or EST. Point number four. For adjectives ending in a consonant and Y, change the Y to I before adding ER or EST. Point number five, for adjectives that have a single vowel before a final consonant, double the final consonant before adding ER or EST. Mechanics, point one, proper adjectives are formed from proper nouns. Point two, a proper adjective or proper noun begins with a capital letter. Please listen as I read the directions. Read the sentences below. Look for mistakes in how adjectives are formed and how words are capitalized. Rewrite the sentences correctly. Look for 
and circle mistakes, okay? Number one, the Great Barrier Reef near Australia is the largest reef that living creatures have built. Two, the sea turtles of Australia are the cuter turtles I have ever seen. Three, the red bass is the oldest fish on the Great Barrier Reef. And number four, Aunt Carol said most clams are much tinier than the giant clam. Please make sure you circle all of the mistakes before rewriting your sentences, because for this page, you can get a lot of points. Good luck. We will go over the answers to the test in tomorrow's period one language arts class. If you have any questions, please ask by emailing Mr. Waterman. Good luck. Take care, stay safe, be well, and I'll see you in just a few moments in period two. Bye-bye for now.